Uh, okay, so for those of you who saw, this is probably immediately after the uh, Guild War session, so... Uh, hopefully RNG is a little more in our favor, but um, like I said, if we want to be good players, then we should be able to, like... We shouldn't rely on that, so... Let's just go in and see what we can do. Uh, I've got a decent win rate, but that's just because I haven't been playing as much RTA, and I'm, like, playing near the tail end, so people who are playing at the beginning of, at the, at the beginning of the season have a lower win rate, and I'll, I'll oftentimes are higher or lower or whatever. Um, because they play more, and it was harder to rank up. I don't know why. I guess it's just because the, the, the point escalation hadn't, like, ballooned enough. Um, but there's, yeah. So we're taking, uh, we're taking her because usually I first pick, as you guys saw last time, I'll be first picking, um, FCC most of the time. If, F, if they take, if they either pre-ban FCC... Uh, or they take FCC on on their first pick. I usually bring like I'm gonna probably start bringing uh, trousers and or Kitty Armin because they provide similar amounts of um, damage reduction or whatever. Uh, so here we're going to bring. I'm probably gonna bring you, and we're gonna bring. Uh, I don't know what to bring. Hold on, let me. To figure this out. I'm gonna bring you. Do I want to bring her? No, I guess I'm. Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna bring. What? Where's this? Ah, oh, where's he? Yeah, I'm gonna bring um, Violet. Oh, he pre-brand Violet. Uh, that's funny. And then nothing to do but to bring Ram. Uh, Rem. So he let me take Rem first turn, um, because he pre-brand the Violet. I, I think I would have preferred to have the Violet, but Rem is pretty decent into stuff like this as well. Okay, so is he going Cleave? Okay, he's going super tanky, so... The next thing we want to do is... We're, was going to be probably take Landy, but... Um, I guess not. Uh, so in this case, it'd be like a pretty good time to like... Let's bring... Uh, yeah, we'll bring you. And we'll bring... You. No, we don't want to bring her into that. To that nonsense. Uh, so here's the question. Do we bring Arbiter, Vildred, or do we bring uh, Lilibet and kind of cleanse everything? Well, we have enough to deal with the cleanse. So she self-cleanses, cleanses. cleanses uh, you know, she does what she does even if she's not cleansed. I mean, she's not going to have the attack buff. So I think I'm just going to bring Arbiter, Vildred into this. Um... Let's see what. Uh, see what we can. What we're fighting against. So, yeah. Right now, I'm, I'm just gonna ban this. Well, I think I'm gonna ban this. Make everyone squishy again. This is a, always a funny move to do when you have a lot of damage. Like I said, I kind of these three with these three by themselves, or like any of these, any combination of these three. I can kind of deal with um, her debuffs to like you know. It's still, we're still kind of like messed up a little bit but it's not as bad as it could be uh, and then it makes everyone else squishy so I think I'm just gonna do that um, makes it easier to deal with them because it, nothing's worse than dealing with like a new Angie who's like impossible to kill um, so let's see how this goes uh, let's see if my decision was the right one I do still think we're kind of stuck here because just, just new Angie in general is hard to deal with um, like new Angie combined with um, Landy over there is, is like a nightmare because you want to AoE to hit Landy, but... Yeah. So let's just hit you with this. And we got the Landy, which is good. And we get to just hit her... Well, we get to hit everybody with this. Actually, well... Because you want to... You, you don't always want an S3 right off the bat. Now, it's not that big a deal, but... Um, you just don't want to, like... Lose your... Your, um... Your lifesteal. Because... Oop, there goes that. So my RB is going to die. Okay, so she's close to death, but that's not big a deal. That's not that big a deal for him because um, the uh, she's about to just like heal her, so that's not that big a deal. Of course, you probably would have wanted to like get her to. Um, there we go. And my my obviously as you can see here my rem is just sitting around like a douchebag, not doing anything. Uh, so, okay, so finally she does something. 
And we got the defense break, so that's better than, than something. Okay, so Arby's dead. Um, she's an S1 her. Oh, okay, never mind. So obviously my Rem is just sitting here doing nothing. Like this entire game is, we lost because Rem has done nothing, um, which I'm happy for. Um, glad to see um, Smogit finally fixing her RNG to be uh, more more balanced, I'd say. Um, so here's this. So we're not gonna, we can't really win off of this anymore. I mean, I'm just kind of playing it out just to be an asshole, but we'll kind of see where the where where this moves. So obviously this is pretty annoying. Um, she's gonna, she can't, she can't s, well, well, she can't do anything to her that'll like be that big a deal. Um, obviously she doesn't take any damage. Of course my Ram isn't doing anything as always. Okay, so she's gonna S3, I think. It should be up by now, yeah. I'm not sure why, but it's just to, well, it's a, probably, yeah, it's just to not um, trigger uh, her S3 or her S2 because, like, that's a non attack skill, so it's not gonna hit anybody. So, yeah, we can't really win this anymore. Um, so, that's kind of how that went. Uh, so, we lost that on RNG, the fact that, like, all of this stuff happened and Rem did nothing. So, that's kind of like, that's one of the things, so Ram, like, I was talking last time, and I guess it's just a bit of a discussion, but um, I was talking last time how Ram, like, to counter her, you kind of do the same thing you do for SSB. The reason Ram is so much, like, more used than SSB is because, for one, uh, SS like, they're even analogous in a lot of ways. So, if she has 20% chance to AoE counter, Ram does, that's one out of every five times she'll, she'll counter, right? Um... Funnily enough, that's the same way uh, SSB's thing works, right? So like one every five, one out of every five times, um, let's go with one out of every five times SSB will uh, will counter, right? Her little focus stacks. So they're kind of similar in that way. But like I said, Rams is more theoretical, which means that you could counter one like every two times or something like that, right? Like your ability to counter can just keep going up and up and, you know, there's not really much you can do to stop it. Um, which is kind of one of the one of the major like issues there. Let's bring him and I'm gonna bring uh, Kisei because I like Kisei. Um, my Kisei is so slow, I shouldn't be bringing her in um, as commonly as I do. So at this point, I guess I'm bringing Violet unless he picks it. Yeah, so at this point I'm bringing Violet. And Rem. Where's Violet? Uh, so we're just gonna RNG his ass to death. Uh, he's probably gonna ban the Violet, but that's fine. Um, but like I was saying, so Rem is 20% per counter attack chance, and then SSB is actually just stacked, so once five hits, you get guaranteed. So one is guaranteed every, you know, consistency. Oops, sorry. One's, every, one's guaranteed consistency, and the other one is. Um, the other one, I think she picked her because she wasn't gonna ban him, which is the mistake, I think. Uh, but we'll, we'll find out, I guess. Um, you bring uh, SSB for consistency, but the fact that like Rem has that like it's a twenty percent chance, you can trigger it a lot, or you can trigger it not at all, right? That's kind of important to realize. Um, and I mean the other the other pro the other the other thing about it too is that uh, obviously um, Rem has not only life steals like significant life steal, but she also has humongous damage. Insane tankiness and the fact that she has the um, anti-heal, which means it basically turns off half of what Rorana does. Um, but yeah, that's, that's kind of that. So in this case, I think I'm just going to eat the apple and then kill Shuri. Let's see if we can kill him. Uh, if we kill Shuri, then it'll... Um, it'll cleanse the... Uh, yeah, okay, so he's going to die. It'll cleanse the Rem, and then Rem is active. Rem is live now. Um, so he got the gab, which kind of sucks, but we'll, we'll see how much damage he can do because I've got 10% damage reduction and then 16 from Aureus. Perfect. And of course, Rem didn't counter, so there we are. Rem, you're failing me, like, on a level I can't even fathom. So that's that's two games in a row Rem has done piss all, which is fantastic, if, if I'm being honest. I don't know who he hits here because, yeah, he just needs to kill her. I mean, she hasn't done anything, so, uh, you know, it's not really that big a deal, but 
And we missed, of course, uh, which is fine. And he got the Gab again. Um, so he's probably gonna hit Violet just to kill him, because he's the only... I don't know what that was. Um, he really should have hit Violet. Now, Violet... Because... Especially now, because Violet's blinded. Um, so we're just gonna kill... Him. Obviously, the he won't heal off of this, but that's fine. Um, as long as the Violet's getting the healing, we're, we're solid. So we kill him, and now we get to just kill the... Um... Oh, I forgot he had the... <laughs> For some reason, I kind of assumed we killed him already at some point, but I don't know. That was kind of dumb. So he's gonna S3. Uh, hopefully the Violet gets to hit him. Okay, cool. That's a lot of barrier. And we didn't hit him, so... Uh, let's see if I can hit him with this. Finally. Uh, so now we're still kind of in a, in a bit of a problem here because uh, she can turn cycle us so fast that she might just kill him if he doesn't dodge. Like, he could probably take two hits, but she can probably cycle fast enough to hit him twice. Oh, actually she didn't. Cool. So now I think we get to kill her, right? So let's hit her once. See what, how that does. We'll hit, her, we'll hit her with this so we can get the um, survive the second the hit if she actually does hit us. Okay, so let's see if she hits us. I want to see how much damage she does, basically, is all I want to see. Oh, she's got the murder. Oh, she missed. Cool. So she's dead. Um, yeah. So that was kind of an interesting... That, that, he kind of lost that when he banned the, 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 the Kisei instead of the, the Violet. I mean, that, just the, on a surface level, that's how obvious it was, because the Violet ended up winning um, at the end. Um, but yeah, that's something you really should have banned the... Um, the violet because he thought he was like okay I'm, I'm gonna just keep um i'm gonna keep the violet in because he brought in the the, the briar rich Isaria, but there was no reason for me to not ban her um arby can stay there because he wasn't gonna ban the um well i mean if he was gonna ban her ban him then that's fine but yeah so that was kind of like i really think he should just ban the violet because that was the only trouble he was gonna take um so again he took that because she's obviously very strong these days so I am going to take her again. Let's see, where is she? Um, there we go. Uh, like I said, I really shouldn't be taking her into stuff because she's not... <laughs> she has no molas. So her S2 has nothing on it. Um, so we're taking... We're just going to slam Violet here. Um, if he's smart, he'll bring a fire. Okay. No, that, so that's another smart move. Um, he brought her instead. So what I'm going to do is bring Violet and Rem. So this is... Let's. I want to see because I'm actually curious to see why... Um, see what's going on here. Um, because Ram has done nothing for two games in a row, um, and they have done plenty of attacks on us. Like, it's not like, um, yeah, it's not like they haven't been AOEing or doing whatever. Like, they've done plenty to us, and Ram still is doing piss all. So I don't, I want to figure out what the what the heck's going on. So I think this is a funny time to just slam the um, the SSB. Because if he if he picks a counter to SSB down here, I'm just gonna I could just block it. I'm going to bring SSB and where is RB? I'm going to bring SSB and RB. Let's just go full aggro and see what we can do. Okay. So yeah, <clears throat> I'm probably just going to bring SSB and then we're going to go full aggro. Uh, where is she? Yeah, we're going to bring RB because RB is going to be fun. <clears throat> so he brought the S10 A, which is kind of interesting to me because the thing, the thing with the S10 A is um, you have to bring something to discourage AOE with her. Like you can't just slam her and be like, "Oh yeah, they're not gonna AOE," because I'm just gonna AOE. Like I, I just picked all AOE now, and none of these other units discourage that. Like obviously, I want to kill him too, so I'm gonna take hits on him, and I want to kill her too. I'm gonna get burned when hitting her, but that's not that big a deal because I have two waters, and then whatever he picks here, I can just ban it. Um, so he brought this, so that's not that big a deal. Uh, what I think I'm going to ban is her, because she's the biggest threat. Because all the rest of these are going to take just full damage and just going to get hit constantly. I don't know who's going to hit with the Luna. But, uh, yeah. Let's see who he who gets rid of. He's probably just going to get rid of the arm and maybe... He's probably going to do my philosophy of just make him squishy. Um, but he could get rid of the SSB, because the SSB is always threatening. Ooh, he got rid of him, which is the one that wasn't that big a deal, because these three are going to be hitting you. Like, all three of these are going to hit S10A, so I'm not sure what... Not to mention... I don't know, that was kind of interesting. Um, we'll see what... Uh, we'll see how that turns out for him. 
So I'm interested to see the speed tuning on some of this stuff. Um, so he's going to go first, obviously. He's going to soul burn, probably. Yeah, soul burn into the uh, SSB. Oh no. Oh, it's the other one that does that, right? I think it's this one. This attack is going to kill the SSB. Yeah, it's going to kill it. Uh, which is fine. Okay, so now she's dead. Maid's thing goes off. Hopefully Maid does something here. Um, so that's, 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 she can't counter the AoE, I think, but that S1, she can. I'm not going to blame her for that because that's only 20%, but still, I'm still, I'm not going to be not salty about it. Okay, so she did something. Okay, we didn't get the... Okay, so we get this off, and Arby's dead, so I get to S3, and I get to kill Luna and uh, the other one. So let's do this. And we get 100% crit chance, so we don't miss anything. Okay, so we killed everyone except her, and now she's just um, easy pickings. He's probably going to kill Arby because you need to kill Arby. Oh, okay, well. You can't do that. Um... It, well, he's going to kill Arby, but that's fine. So she has one, which I can't counter, and now he's going to ask three, which I can counter. Let's see if we get the counter off. If not, it's, it's no worries, because then... Oh, well, there you go. Yeah, she's not going to die from that. Sorry, bro. Um, yeah, so I get to do this now. And then I get to just kill you with this. And this is, like, I want to keep in mind that, like, we won this because of how much, like, like, Arby survived enough to S1 and then S3. And she survived the S3 from uh, that S10A, uh, which, like, she had, like, what, four stacks already on her passive, right? So I want to say that this, like, basically that whole victory hinged on Kitty Armin. And the reason I want to point that out specifically is because the Kitty Armin, like I said, she's not max. So we have the minimal amount of damage reduction on her that we possibly can. Um, we're missing 5% damage reduction, and then we're missing 4% uh, damage sharing, so there you go. Uh, we kind of, we also partially won that in the draft because he had too many targets he had to get rid of, which that, you know, that could all easily hit him as a champion guy, so let's kind of look at, hopefully we get a bunch of points off of this, but I don't know, we'll find out. Um, we're taking you. I am probably going to keep pre-banning, um... Opsig because I just really no way I can deal with her. So we're taking uh, where is she? We're taking obviously FCC. This is a formidable okay. So he took uh, he took him, which is fine because we're just gonna take um, where is he? We are just going to take Landy, or she, I guess. Yeah, where's she? We're gonna take Landy. Uh, we're taking Landy, and I'm gonna take. Uh, we're taking you. Okay, so now uh, from here we're basically set. So all we have to do is pick two more damage dealers, and we'll be fine. So we get to see what else he is picking. Um, I kind of would have wanted to take the, the carrot myself, but I think we'll be fine. Um, so with what I've seen here, I think I'm just going to take the rem. Um, should I bring Arby? I kind of want to bring Arby, but I really need another um, carrot counter. Because what I'm just going to do, I'm just probably just going to ban him. Um, I don't have enough waters though. Actually, yeah, I'm just going to bring Kisei. Okay, we'll be fine. So we should be taking both first turns, right? So we should be taking... So Kisha's 270, and then um, my Amelia's 256. So we should be taking both of the first turns. Um, which, funnily enough, I can do Kise Amelia's turn, boost up Kise again, and then have her S3, and then just probably kill a bunch of people. Um, but we'll see how this turns out. Uh, right now I'm kind of committed into banning the him. Um, Kisei's gonna S3 her, and then come back around and probably just S3 her again. So he, yeah. So I, I'm, I'm fine with what's, what's up here. Let's see, because either way, I'm, I should be taking first turn. None of these guys should be fast enough to outspeed either of, the, either of my uh, contesters. Well, they're not contesters. Yeah, well, 
Kise is kind of a, a first turn contester, but she's not very good at it. Um, she's kind of one of the lower end speed contesters. Okay, so this I think was a mistake on his part, but it could be a mistake on my part. I think mainly, yeah. So, because uh, theoretically the um, the carrot's not going to do very much because I have too much cleanse. Uh, and her damage all, is all just full, um, let's boost you up. Uh, the only problem I have here is probably we might lose to like um, to Violet, depending on how um, much RNG he has. But and we still outsped, which is pretty annoying because the reason I'm telling you, we just keep losing RNG today. The reason we didn't want her to outspeed is because so I could S three. Let's uh, we'll just hit you with this, I guess. It's so that I could S three with um, FCC. After she S3'd with her S3, because her S3 does no damage and gives everyone invincibility. I don't even know why it does damage. Uh, probably just to piss me off specifically, but there, there you go. Because it hits, right? It hits, but it does no damage. So it hits only enough to take off an FCC barrier, uh, FCC skill null, which is to me like just insultingly irritating. Hey, look, we stripped the immunity off of her, but it doesn't really matter because she was going next. <laughs> um, so she's going to S3, but hopefully not do very much because she doesn't have an attack buff, and she's very squishy. I mean, she's deceptively squishy, right? She could have an L... Okay, I lost the... That's fine. And for some reason, he hit her. I thought he was going to hit the other one. Let's just do this. Because uh, we don't, I mean, we want to make sure our Rem is as, like, healthy as possible, because that, that Violet could just kill her at any moment. Uh, he's going to S3 somebody. I think he's probably going to S3 the, uh, the Rem for some reason. It's interesting that he's focusing on this Rem so much. Um, she hasn't done anything so far. Like, I'm not even countered. I've been hit three times, and she hasn't countered. But it's one out of five, so it's one out of four now. Or, there's another one. Um, I am going to just cleanse Rem and boost her up, and we're just gonna we're just gonna hit you. Uh, I'm giving her the attack buff and that boost just so that I don't have to um I don't have to S three, and so she, now she has attack buff without having to S three. So that's kind of what that was about. Um, hopefully, we can like the plan here right now with dealing with like most of this hopefully with landy cr uh we're gonna hit you with landy cr and um her speed boof her speed boost uh we're gonna do this and her speed boost hopefully that's enough to like cycle with amelia as well uh that we can just kind of like outspeed them basically so she's gonna hit somebody probably the landy he keeps going after. <laughs> he keeps going after. I'm not sure what's up with that because if you're gonna lose, you're gonna lose to Landy, not, not her. I don't know. Maybe I'm maybe I'm dumb. Oh, there we go. And it's like he knew he was gonna get that uh, dual attack, uh, which infuriates me beyond like reason. I better get the stealth off of this. I'm gonna be pissed. And we got countered. Okay, cool. We got the stealth. Okay. So he's gonna he's just gonna kill the Rem, which is fine. Um, Rem was like, Rem's, Rem's kind of a red herring. Like he's investing resources into killing her, when really the one who's gonna be doing most of the damage is going to be Landy. Because look, they're already basically all dead except for him because he just healed. But she's got too much resistance for that, my friend. Um, let's just boost you up again. Um, let's do S three. Hopefully we can, I mean, hopefully we can hit Violet with one of these things. I mean, we've, we've been, there we go, finally, as soon as I said it. Okay, there we go, so they're all dead, and now Violet's about to die. Got the counter. 1100 HP back. Uh, we're just going to heal everybody. Get her to cycle, and then um, come back to the S2. Uh, 
Uh, actually, we're just going to S1 him. Actually, no, I don't want to give him uh, more healing, so we're just going to S... S2 hit her. Hopefully we can kill him with this. Even if we do even if he dodges, we just should be able to kill him. Yep. That's kind of why I bring Landy into Violet, because you can just focus on everyone else um, until la he's the last one, and then uh, Landy usually he's low enough because hopefully out of like the two or, th or three or two or three uh, S3s you got off with Landy, hopefully one of them hit him, uh, and then he'll be low, and then you can just kind of like do enough damage. Like he would have countered, he might have countered her her. Um, if you know, maybe we didn't kill him and she was gonna survive that and then hopefully uh, we can come back around and hit him again and he'll die um, But yeah, so that's how that went. Uh, what time we're at yeah, about half an hour. So we'll keep it down to this much um, We're almost about to get out of Challenger. I think we're about to enter champion and I think after champion comes um, Emperor or something uh, Then after Emperor is legend, right? Is that how that works? How do I look at okay? So yeah Emperor so yeah, yeah so a few more victories. Um, we'll probably showcase me going into champion uh, next video, uh, and then I don't know. It'd be nice to get an emperor top 1000. Seems pretty fun, um, like a fun title to be like, oh, I, I made it that far. Because top 100 is just too much whales. There's too many whaling um, going on there. Um, but emperor is fine, I think, for free to play players. I think champion is all right too. But it's it's nice to be like. So when you're in champion, you just have to get this many points. So you just farm points until you get to champion, right? But um, previously, it was only legend, right? It's like, oh, you're in a top 100. You're in, you're in a ranked like you know area now. You're not, you're not just like rank whatever in somewhere. You're you're one of the top 100. Um, and the fact that they included that like to make that emperor is a pretty good like free to play level of to to, to reach, right? Because uh, legend, like I said, it, it's basically impossible for anyone. Like even the best free to play player we have right now, which is probably Astronox, doesn't have any accounts in legend. Um, Anyone who's in Legend has probably spent a bunch of money, so you've got people like... Even people who don't spend that much, right? Shuffles, I'm sure, has spent a decent amount of money. I don't think he whales, but I'm sure he spent a decent amount of money. That's You can tell that he does because he, he he's one of those guys that argues like... There's no there's no, such, there's no whales. Or, no, I forgot what he argued. He argued like... You just pay for you know as much as you kind of want to. There's you know, no whale. Hey, I don't think he's a whale for sure, but I'm sure he spent a decent amount of money. Um, and I'm sure because, like, he doesn't want to be counted among the whales is kind of what his argument is. But uh, if you spend it all, then, I mean, sorry, you kind of, you spent it all. And I I'm not, you know, I'm not 100% free to play, but I'm glad to be that I can make it up to this at least because I'm not spending enough money to, like, I'm never going to spend enough money to get to Legend. Um, but I think Emperor, yeah, like I said, so I think Emperor is pretty good. Uh, again, like, you can farm points, but the way, like, even in Arena, the point distribution gets messed up, so... Uh, Yesterday I was like 450 points in and I was still in champion even though it's like 250 you should be in legend. Um, <laughs> um, so they need to add an emperor tier into arena if the point inflation gets that bad. Um, but that's a different story. But anyway, like I said, um, this is a good goal to hit I think. And I think I'll be trying to, to get there. Well, I get it to legend, I don't know. I'm kind of doubtful, but um, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, like I said, I'm kind of doubtful. I have too many... I, as you can see, I have too many units I don't have built properly. So I need, if you want to get to Legend, you, you kind of need a, a Charlotte, right? You need a good Charlotte. You need a good la um, you need a good Landy. My Landy's kind of iffy. She's too squishy for one. Uh, but you need like, and then you need a lot of, you need speed. There's no there's no way around it. Like you can build as many counter units as much like turn two comps, tanky and whatever. You need speed. Like there's no way to just, there's no way to get to Legend without speed. And I don't have speed, you know, but yeah. So anyway, the point was that... Um, we're close to champion, um, which is kind of my set point usually. Uh, but now that they introduced this new um, emperor class, I think I, you know, I think that's a pretty good place to try to reach for someone who's like doesn't really spend anymore. Um, not that I ever spent that much, but again, I'm probably I'm probably not different than um, what's his. I probably don't sound any different than uh, what's his name than shuffles in terms of like I'm not a whale. Trust me, guys. Um, but yeah, um, till next time. Uh, I'll let you guys go.